Good day everybody. Today we got a beautiful integral, integral 0 to pi over 2 x over tan x times dx. Now, in fact, to be honest with this integral, this is a complicated integration. If you are going to be adopting various other methods to what I am going to show you here. In other words, the method that I am going to show you here is the easiest one to be applied to solve this particular integral that has been given. So without any further ado, let me show you the technique and I hope you benefit from that. Now we have been given this, so what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite this as integral 0 to pi over 2 x over now, tan x can be written as sin x over cos x. Of course, the operator dx has to be placed. Now, if I were to flip this, I can now rewrite sin x over cos x, which is in the denominator, to be as x times over sin x times cos x dx. You agree with this, right? So, all those things are elementary steps. Now what I wish to do is, I would like to rewrite this quantity cos x dx to be as integral 0 to pi over 2 x over sin x times d of sin x. Differentiating sin x will give me cos x times dx. So this is acceptable. Now I've got integral 0 to pi over 2 x over sin x times d of sin x. Now what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite this entire quantity as integral 0 to pi over 2 x times d of ln sin x. Now let me show that to you here. What happens? Suppose you are given y is equal to ln sin x and you are asked to find dy over dx. So, when you differentiate y, you get dy over dx, right? So, you can either write it as dy over dx or simply apply differentiation all throughout. So, when you differentiate y, you get dy. Differential of ln sin x is going to be 1 over sin x times differentiating the quantity which is with ln. So, in this case, with this ln, you got sin x. So for ln sin x you have differentiated and you have got 1 over sin x but you need to differentiate the sin x with the ln. So differential of sin x is what? Cos x times dx. So dy over dx in this case is going to be cos x over sin x. So this exact concept I am going to be applying. So if you were to differentiate ln sin x you would get 1 over sin x times differentiating sin x. That is exactly what is happening, right? Differential of sin x would give me the cos x dx that we need. So, what have I done? I have actually represented this entire quantity by means of d of ln sin x. I hope you are able to understand this. And I have shown you there what happens when if you have a quantity something like this ln of sin x and you are expected to differentiate. So when you differentiate this, differential of ln sin x would give you 1 over sin x times differentiating sin x that's going to be cos x. So what have we got here? You got cos x dx over sin x. So this entire quantity can exactly be generated with this single quantity. Of course I have taken one intermediate step just to explain you what is exactly happening. Now, having got this, what we are going to do is we would be utilizing integration by paths. So, I would take, let me write that down, using integration by paths. So, I would take u to be as my x and dv to be equal to d of ln sin x. Now, differential of u, 
this is du differential of x is going to be dx so this is okay now I need to integrate both the sides now integral of dv d of v integral of dv is nothing but integrating d of v so what do we get here we get v now in this case integrating d of this quantity ln sin x so what do we get here we simply get ln sin x so using integration by parts so this is equal to this entire thing is equal to uv negative integral v du right this is the integration by parts formula so this is equal to my u is x my v is ln of sin x the limits are 0 to pi over 2 negative integral my v ln sin x and my du is dx the integration is 0 to pi over 2 on applying limits on applying limits so what do we get when you apply limits here now ln sin pi over 2 now let me just show this to you now sin pi over 2 is equal to 1 we are expected to calculate ln of 1 now what is ln of 1 ln of 1 is going to be 0 so when you apply the upper limit sin pi over 2 this is going to be 0 you apply lower limit this is going to be 0 because of the presence of x so I can clearly cancel this out so what I've got here I have got let me write that down we now have integral 0 to pi over 2 x over tan x times dx to be equal to negative 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x dx so we are expected to integrate this quantity so what I wish to do is I would like to consider this quantity exclusively and show you the integration and then take the value obtained and I will substitute it here and then I will make the simplification and show you the outcome that is the entire process that I will be carrying out here so let me show you how to integrate integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x times dx so let us start off by obtaining the value of integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x dx now let me just take this value let this be equal to i so you got i is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x times dx now what I wish to do is I would like to apply the King's property now what is the King's pro property if you were to be given an integral integral a to b f of x dx then I can write this integral as integral a to b f of a positive b negative x times dx where x is replaced with a positive b negative x so this is the king's property and this is one of the most powerful property in integral and that is the name and that is why it's been named as the king's property if you use this property even the most complex integration can be annihilated to obtain a result in an easier fashion so having mentioned that let me use the king's property so this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 so as you can see my x will be replaced with 0 plus pi over 2 negative x so this is going to be ln of sine of pi over 2 negative x times dx now this is equal to now what is sine of pi over 2 negative x that is nothing but cos x so this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of cos x times dx so what do you got on the left hand side you got i so if you were to take this as 2 if you were to take this as 3 adding 2 with 3 so let me write that down adding 2 and 3 we get so what do we get i added with i is 2i this is going to give me integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sin x dx plus integral 0 to pi over 2 ln cos x dx now this can be rewritten as integral 0 to pi over 2 ln uh, sin x plus 
ln cos x times dx. Now this is similar to what do we know? We know that ln a plus ln b is equal to ln ab, right? We know this formula. So using this formula over here, this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sin x times cos x into dx. So this is what we have got. Now I want to simplify the sin x cos x. Now if I were to consider say there is a formula right sin 2x is equal to 2 times sin x cos x now if you were to bring this 2 down this is going to be half times sin 2x is equal to sin x cos x so what I wish to do is in place of sin x cos x I can substitute half times sin 2x so this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of can I write half times sin 2x as sin 2x over 2 is it possible of course it is possible we can do that now what is this this is nothing but ln of a over b which is equal to ln a negative ln b so utilizing that this is rewritten as integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sin 2x negative ln 2 times dx right now I'm going to distribute dx so this is going to be integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x negative integral 0 to pi over 2 ln 2 times dx so I need to go to a new page we need to place the dx there so this is what we've got I'm going to go to a new page of course on the left side you've got 2 times i this is going to be negative and what I would do is foremost I would like to integrate this quantity so let me just rewrite this integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x times dx negative this can be rewritten as ln of 2 times integral 0 to pi over 2 times dx so this is ln 2 integral of dx will give me x the limits are 0 to pi over 2 on the left you got 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x times dx now you substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit this is going to be integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x times dx followed by now this is 0 and you got pi over 2 so I can rewrite ln 2 times pi over 2 as pi over 2 times ln 2 and over here it's 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x times dx now this is what we have got now on the left I got 2 times i now I need to integrate this so let me just consider integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x times dx now how am I to have a sin x instead of sin 2x what should I do for that let us use substitution so let 2x I'm going to take 2x to be equal to u and differentiating this would give me 2 times dx is equal to du and the dx is du over 2 so this is equal to integral now when x is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 but when x is equal to pi over 2 u is equal to pi so substitute that 0 to pi ln of sin 2x is nothing but in place of 2x substitute u so this is going to be u sin u times in place of dx substitute du over 2 so this is rewritten as 1 over 2 times integral 0 to pi ln of sin u times du now this is u this is du so this is same as rewriting this as integral 0 to pi ln sin x times dx right it's only the variable it won't have any impact if you have in place of u 
as x and in place of d you have dx. There's not going to be any change at all. The same value that you get will also be the value that you get here. So that's what I'm going to do. I would have very well done it over here, but it would be very confusing if you were to take 2x to be equal to x. So I don't want to do that. That's the reason I resorted to this technique and then I will now change the variable here. So as I mentioned to you, this rewriting of sine, sine u to be a sine x will not have any impact at all. So you can very well do that. So this is what you've got. But what is this? Now this is same as finding the area from 0 to pi is same as finding the area between 2 times 0 to pi over 2 ln of sine x dx. So they won't have any impact in this case also because finding the area from 0 to pi is same as finding the area 2 times 0 to pi over 2. Okay, so I got a 1 over 2 so you place that. Now this 2, this 2 gets cancelled so giving me integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sine x dx. But what is this? Do you remember what is this? This is exactly our i. So I have actually found this integral to be equal to i. This is equal to i. So if I were to take this as sum 4, on the left you got 2i. Probably I should take this as, okay, this should have to be taken as 4, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Let me take this as 5. So I'm going to utilize 5. So 5 can now be rewritten. In place of this, I need to substitute i. So therefore, 5 is rewritten as 2 times i is equal to i negative pi over 2, 1, 2. So you move this this will give you 2 times i negative i is equal to negative pi over 2 log 2. Therefore, i is equal to negative pi over 2 log 2. Right? But what is this i? This i, this would mean is nothing but integral 0 to pi over 2 log of sin x dx is equal to negative pi over 2 want to but do you remember what is this this is actually the integral that we started with so let me just show you that okay let me bring to your attention so you see that we now have integral 0 to pi over 2 x over tan x dx is equal to negative so we have got the value of this so let me go back and flip this so, hence, integral 0 to pi over 2 x over tan x dx is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x dx. This is what we are. We actually, we started our journey from this point. So, this is equal to negative of, substitute this, negative pi over 2 ln 2, which is negative, negative, positive. So, you get pi over 2 ln 2 units. So this is the final solution for this question. Thank you everybody.